So, have you guys ever wondered what the best RC cars are of 2020? Well, you guys are in the right place. Okay guys, I hope you're having a beautiful day. Welcome to the video. Sorry, I didn't release a video on Tuesday. I was meant to make another video, however, I had some complications, so that video is coming next Friday. So, first off, I'm going to be mainly talking about RTR, off-road cars. I'll be doing another couple of videos for both on-road and racing cars, also crawlers, so make sure to subscribe if you want to be notified about those coming videos coming out in probably the next week or two. Lastly, if you guys are interested in purchasing any of the cars that you see in today's video, I'll be leaving a link where you guys can buy them from the US, UK, and of course, Australia. Okay, I'll be breaking these down in a scale category for you guys, starting at 1 16th scale, Go on to 1 10th, then to 1 8th, and then go on all the way up to the 1 6th and 1 5th scale classes. Just remember guys, this is all just based off my own opinion. If you guys think I've missed one or you would like to share your own opinions, please comment below as this may be able to help someone find the right RC car for them. But at the end of the day, the best RC car is the one that brings the biggest smile to your face. Okay guys, so I'm not super familiar with the 1 16th scale RC cars as I haven't really played around with them. However, I'm going to be telling you guys what I think is the best 1 16th scale car just from the good reviews that I've heard. And that has to be the HBX 16881 1 16th scale brushless RC car. It's off-road, it has LED lights and it's all ready to run. It can also do up to 45 kilometers an hour straight out of the box and it includes a battery all that for only $80 US and the reviews are insane so if I had to pick one this would probably be my go-to and my biggest recommendation for 1 16th scale RC car okay starting off with the 1 10th scale RC cars this was a very hard choice for me as there are just so many RC cars within the scale so the first one for me would have to be the Traxxas Max designed from the bigger brother the Traxxas X Max it's definitely a larger 1 10th scale RC car but it's super durable just like the X-Max. It looks absolutely stunning and capable of doing 60 miles per hour out of the box on 4S. For me, I really love the 4S capability. Sometimes you just want that extra power, you know what I mean? Also, being a Traxxas car, Traxxas parts are really easy to find. They're very readily available. Most local hobby shops are going to be able to supply Traxxas parts or at least get them in. The next RC car would have to be the Lossy Tenacity Laser Nut. The Lossy Laser Nut is definitely number one on my list for the next RC car to buy. It's super durable. It has a tough 3mm aluminum chassis. Uh, Spectrum Smart technology is ready to be used. It has a battery indicator kind of on top of the controller so it shows you how much battery life you have left. I think it's a really cool feature. Also, it's designed around the real Laser Nut Racing Team's Rock Racer. Uh, so it looks really, really good. It comes with a spare tire. Uh, and with all that said, one of my favorite things, again, same as the Max, uh, it's 4S capable. I do believe the Laser Nut is a bit smaller than the Max. Uh, Speed-wise, though, I'm not too sure which one's faster. Um, but, you know, I like that extra power to be able to have it whenever I want it. Lastly, for the 110 scale, I'd have to give it to the Traxxas Hoss. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't had the pleasure of personally driving the Hoss. However, from what I've seen, it's super durable. Besides the minor problem with the battery tray, which is a cheap and easy fix to combat the issue, it can do bunny hops from a standstill. It's great for flips and tricks when jumping in the air. Even though it's only a 3S vehicle, it's still capable of 60 miles per hour out of the box. Obviously, that's with the optional gearing and a 3S battery. And with Sledgehammer's new tyres, it's able to put all that torque to the ground for a really fast acceleration. Also, I know the Hoss is kind of a little bit controversial in the fact that people are saying, oh, it's basically a Rustler or it's a Slash. And I don't really see that as a bad thing. The Rustler and the Slash were both amazing chassis designs. Um, even though it does have quite a few significant differences, uh, it's based off a chassis that already works. So you know you're getting a good platform when you buy the Traxxas Hoss. Now let's talk about my favorite scale, that is the 1.8 scale. Now it's definitely my favorite scale for bashing, not for racing. I do prefer a light, nimble 110 scale for racing, as that's just kind of what I started with, so that's what I prefer. 1.8 scale cars are also big, so if you like bigger cars, these are just for you. Uh, unlike some 1.5 scale cars, they're not as heavy to carry around all the time. So a little less backbreaking yet you still get a big scale RC car. 
Okay guys, so first on the 1 8th scale RC car list, we have one of my favourite RC cars of all time, and that has to be the Armour Creighton BLX EXB, or the Creighton 6S, which they're basically the same RC car, that's why I've included them together. Now the EXB stands for Extreme Basher, because it has all the upgrades necessary for extreme bashing. Bigger bumpers, upgraded diffs, uh, aluminium shock tower braces, etc. However, unlike the Armour Creighton 6S, it doesn't come with electronics. Uh, so the Armour Creighton 6S is an RTR, but it's not as durable as the EXP as it doesn't have all the upgrades, but it is cheaper. For this, just choose one that either suits your budget or your desired use. Now if you want to be Neil Armstrong and be the first RC car on the moon, you may want to get the EXP, but if you're not looking to go to such extreme bashing, then the Armour Creighton 6S will do perfectly. It's what I have, and I have upgraded the shock tower braces as I think it's quite necessary, as the chassis can be a little weak sometimes. Now, before we go any further, guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing that and smashing the like button. It really helps. And, and hit the notification bell if you guys want to stay up to date with all my latest videos. Second on the 1.8 scale RC car list has to be the Traxxas UDR. Now, I know it's somewhat of a 7th scale RC car, however, it does fall between a 1 7th scale and a 1 8th scale, coming in at a 16.5 inch wheelbase. That's why I have included it here, so some people will say it's 1 8th, some people will say it's a 1 7th. Uh, it looks really amazing. I really love the realistic look to it and the realistic handling. It's quite durable, it's super fast, uh, you can run it on 6S, uh, some people have gone chucked in 8S into it, that's pretty crazy, um, but yeah, it's super fast, super durable, looks awesome, and that's why uh, it's one of my top picks for the 8th scale RC cars. The only real downside to the Traxxas UDR is probably the battery connectors, just the way that they're stuck in there, it makes it really hard to use other batteries or even to run an adapter as sometimes the adapter can get in the way so you will have to do a slight bit of modification there if you want to say for instance run an XT90 connector or something different over the original Traxxas plug. Lastly guys on the 1.8 scale RC car list I just have to give this to the Armour Outcast. Uh, it's very similar to the Creighton 6S however it has a shorter wheelbase and the backflip tyres allow for amazing stunts. It's definitely skate park ready. Unfortunately there is no Outcast EXB so you don't get all the upgrades and stuff. So you may want to do a few upgrades like aluminium shock tower braces uh, before kind of sending it down to space. Besides that, the Outcast 6S is an amazing machine and I really love uh, the design of the Ute body shell. It's just what Armour's done there. I really do like that. So now it's time to talk about the big boys. The 1 5th or 1 6th scale, however you guys want to describe them. Uh, these are your really, really big RC cars. They personally have to be one of my favourite. Uh, just the pure size of them. It's just so fun to play around. Sometimes they can be a little difficult to carry around, but I really do think it's worth it. Starting off, we have the Armour Creighton. This thing is massive and durable and fast. What I love is how fast and nimble it is. It's just like its smaller brother, the Armour Creighton 6S. It's just so controllable in the air. It's great for stunts and racing around. Even straight out of the box, it comes with proper chassis support. So they have a little brace that they made up after realizing that the chassis were bending. And as far as I know, they've kept pretty steady. Uh, so it's it's ready to be sent all the way out of space like seriously like NASA is spending millions of dollars to send people to the moon Yet they should just use the RC cars. Okay jokes aside guys the Creighton 8S is a beast of a machine It handles extremely well, and I've heard nothing but absolutely good things about it Another one that I really want to get my hands on and try out I've seen it in person if you guys haven't seen a 1 5th or 1 6th scale in person, I recommend going down to your local hobby shop if they've got them and just checking them out, just to, just to see the pure size of them, it's just amazing. So next, again taking from the younger brother, we are going to the older brother, the Armour Outcast 8S. Now like its cousin, the Creighton 8S, it's really big, with its shorter yet wide wheelbase, it's one amazing RC car for stunts. This is something I see a lot of people bashing around. It's super strong, super durable, especially with the included, I think they're D-boot backflip tires, so you can do heaps of stunts in the air. 
Uh, it's super controllable. It's really fast again. And uh, yeah, like it's one of the best looking, in my opinion, guys. It's one of the best looking one fifth, technically one sixth, I think, RC cars on the market that Armour has released, anyways. And, and again, I know this is opinion based. Lastly, guys, and probably the most obvious, as it's an absolute legend and my all round favourite RC car to ever hit the shelves, and that would have to be the Barbie RC car. No. No, wait, sorry, I've got the wrong one. The Traxxas X-Max. This thing is just a perfect all-rounder RC car. The size, again, it's massive. It's lighter than most of the other cars in its size range. For instance, it's lighter than the Creighton, and I do believe it's lighter than the Outcast. Uh, it's very controllable in the air, and out of the box, it's super fast. And, of course, again, being Traxxas, there's parts readily available. And because most of it's made out of plastic, uh, most of the time, it's quite cheap. If you actually break something, uh, now this goes without saying it has its problems, for example myself included, most people end up blowing out the rear bearings at the back hubs, so you upgrade them to the RPM ones, however, for that it ended up costing me like $35 Australian, so in my opinion it's actually quite easy to fix, and again parts are readily available, so to be honest if I had to have one car from this list, the Traxxas X-Max 8S is what I would buy. It's just a perfect all-rounder, it's light enough to be able to carry around, like yes, it is quite big, but it's super, super fun, and in my opinion, the best car straight out of the box for bashing. Okay guys, that's a wrap for this video. Again, make sure to remember that this is just an opinion-based video. Uh, you are absolutely welcome to share your opinions below, and tell me, why and what is your favorite RC car? Also, if you made it this far to the video, thank you, I love you all. Make sure to consider hitting that subscribe button and smash the like button. Uh, that's it for this, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Okay, so for anyone that's stuck around, I've got two videos for you guys that I think you'll like, so feel free to click on them. Also, don't tell anyone, right, but the first person to comment fruit juice in the comments will receive a free shout-out in my next video.